Hi guys, Sarah here from Marital Glue and welcome to another installment of the $5 Goodwill Challenge. Hillary from my so-called home has been doing this challenge every season for a few years and I'm so excited now that I'm regularly um, uploading videos that I can be a part of this. This is my third one um, since December, so my third consecutive one and I just absolutely love it and I am so excited to show you guys what I found. So I found like two different five dollar little hauls that kind of go together. So we'll start with the very first one which once I saw everything together um, I really want to use this for a 4th of July picnic or 4th of July get together. It really works well outside so I shot some video of it outside so you can kind of see where I'm going with it. So let's just jump right in. So truthfully, this little $5 Goodwill haul is actually over $5, but since four of the items are the exact same thing, I'm kind of counting them as one. Um, I don't know if that's fair, but it's my $5 video, so I can do what I want, right? Hillary, I think, would have no problem with it. So the very first things I found were these placemats, which I actually think are brand new. I'm not sure. They had so many of them, but maybe that's just because somebody donated a lot of them. I'm not sure, but they had them in like this coral color and a like turquoise blue but they were one dollar a piece I got four because at our outdoor patio table we have four seats so all together these were four dollars but I'm just gonna count it as one dollar because they're all the exact same um, and they're just really cute they're very wipeable they're kind of like a plasticky vinyl-y material I'm not exactly sure um, they're really big and they're just that gingham pattern which is so very like Americana and summery. So I absolutely love those and I love that they're not actually red. They're kind of a coral color which is pretty fun. And to go with these I found the cutest little like nesting bowl. I don't know what you'd call them. Um, decorative dishes to hold like fruit or potato salad or something. Um, the smaller one was 99 cents. The bigger one was $1.99 so 3-4 I'm right at $5 if you count the four placemats as $1 because they're all the same. But they are so cute. They're metal. They have the cutest little strawberry pattern on them. I absolutely love them. They're in great condition and they even have little, um, the little pads so when you set them down they're kind of raised. And they're by Kobe Kitchen, made in Japan. Um, I don't know if these are actually vintage or if they just look vintage. I don't really care. I just think they're super cute and look really good with these placemats. So I'm really excited to use these this summer. My second $5 Goodwill haul has to do with artwork. And when I'm at Goodwill or a thrift store, I often don't have any luck. And I don't really even look at the art section anymore. But when I went in for this $5 Goodwill challenge, I was really disappointed in the selection. So I was just like really taking my time looking through everything once again, just to see if maybe I'd missed something. And so I was like, well, I'll just look at the art. And sure enough, I actually found some things I really love and it inspired me to do a little um, artwork above or like next to our stairway going upstairs. Um, and so the very first one I found that I absolutely adore is this God Bless Our Home print. Um, it has like the vintage florals that I absolutely love. I really, really love um, and have loved for a long time since before we got married. I have loved the like seed packet art from like I want to say the 40s. I have no idea if that's really when that artwork was popular. And and really old fashioned advertising and stuff like that. I just absolutely love the detail and just the vintage quality of it. I love the colors and I, I so when it said God bless our home, I had just had to buy it. Um, I think this would be great for going up the stairs. It's seen from our living room and um, we want God to bless our home, so I just think it's so perfect and so beautiful. I'll have to frame it. I'll probably try to frame it um, to the actual picture because I don't really like just the printed on fake mat type of thing. But at the top it says the Art Emporium, $15, but I got it at Goodwill for $1.99. So a really good deal, and I absolutely love it. It says it's by Courier and Ives, so if you wanted to look it up, maybe you could find it if you wanted one. And then I was kind of surprised I actually bought this, but when I was growing up, I really loved this kind of artwork with the with the houses, with the like straw roofs and the flowers. I was just in love with that kind of artwork growing up. And so this little picture I just thought looked so good 
with the God Bless Our Home. And it's very vintage and just so beautiful. There's like a castle in the background. And I just think it is so cute. And it's small. It's like a... It's not a 5x7. It's a little bigger than that. But um, it's just so small. And it's not like a huge piece of art. I wouldn't buy one of these huge. But I just really thought it was so sweet. And I think it will look really good with that. Mixed with some like family photos above our stairs. So... That is what I got, and that one is $1.99. So together, I only spent $4 on these. So I really, really like that as well. I'll probably paint this frame or put it in a new frame. No, I'll probably paint it because this is like a custom frame. I don't know if I'd be able to find one this size. But um, I'll put them together on our stairway. So I'm really happy with those as well. I hope you guys enjoyed my little $5 Goodwill hauls and I would love to know if you partook in this challenge as well and if you did please leave your link below. If not, I would love if you would share something you found recently that was a really good deal that you were excited about. I just love sharing those kind of things. Um, it's just so fun to see and make sure you go and click in the description below and see the playlist that Hillary puts together of all the different Goodwill challenges. Shout out to Hillary. I'm sure this is a lot of work for you um, to find all the videos and put them up. So thank you so much for hosting this every season. And make sure you guys come back in a couple months for the fall Goodwill Challenge. I'm not ready for that yet, but I'm excited. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys what I got then too. So thank you so much for watching.